and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and I love to show you what I'm about to show you. You know, transparent and opaque. You know, I love watercolor. I love acrylic painting. I love oil painting. I love to paint. But when it comes down to acrylic painting, which is what I mostly do, uh, I like to use some of those watercolor techniques, which is watered down acrylics. Uh, that's right. If you use really, really good Holbein acrylic paints, I'm gonna say a Holbein, because they have so much pigment, and that's what I like about it. I can water them down, really water them down, like a tint or like a stain, and put it all over my paintings like a watercolor. And it doesn't break up into tiny little pieces like some of those less expensive paints. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I, I do love the uh, transparency of the Holbein paints and I use them like a watercolor or like a stain. And I'm about to show you. Here's a, this looks like a watercolor. It's really a watered down acrylic combination, watercolor and acrylic. I'm gonna do one right now. Here we go. Here's the watercolors right here. I'm gonna squeeze them all. I've squeezed them all out into this little ice chest. So I'm gonna do one right now. I go right for it. Lots of water. Lots of water. That's the whole idea. This is a watercolor, so use lots of water. That's beautiful. Oh, great coloring. I'm gonna take some of this hot pink and this will be the dark side. Look at the character already. It's starting to pop. Look at this. It's one of the nice things about watercolor. It just flows all over the place. I'm going to take some of this violet. I mean, if you're going to make it dark, make it dark. And how about the shadow? Uh, remember, an object sits on its shadow. Look at that. Right down. And because it's so wet, it starts to flow. I like to think it, it paints itself. I'm bringing, bringing some green in here. Why not? Creates nice character. Who says I can't bring in this? Look how it, it expands. I'm bringing some white in here. This is called painting. Oh, it starts to paint itself. I'm using lots and lots of white, you know, to give it that opacity. But I'm also using lots of water at the same time to make sure that it looks like a watercolor and it acts like a watercolor. Oh man, look at that. Ah, oh, look where this is all going. So you can see how easily it was for me to get to this level. So, We'll let this dry, and here's the beauty of working with acrylic paints in a very wet way. In a very wet way. Let me get this out of the way here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, so many things I can do at this point. I can hit the little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Let's see what would happen. Look at that. 
fits these little bubbles. Look at that. Cool, huh? Or I could just come back to one that's already been dried. Now, here's the beauty. It's not going to lift. Bring in some opaque, some dark underneath here. Make it pretty dramatic. I may as well come over here too. Look at this. Everything is so nice and wet. I'm going to hit it some more with alcohol. Look at the texture in here spraying up here too. All right. Anyway. So you can see here the value of thinning down really good acrylic paints because they have so much um, pigment. And look at this. I don't have to worry about it breaking apart. Look how dramatic it gets. But I'll let this dry and I can come back and do some negative shape painting and have no fear of it re-lifting the beauty of acrylic paints. So keep it wet, stay focused on it. Watercolor techniques with acrylic paints. Keep your brushes wet. See you on the next Pop Blast.